An unprecedented security nightmare now threatens the world's most powerful army. Drones, which once seemed harmless, have now become the most frightening threat to sophisticated military weapons, such as tanks, jets, and other expensive weapons. The Russia-Ukraine conflict has made other countries seek protection against the threat of air attacks. However, one of the giant U.S. technology companies, Epirus, offers a savior called Leonidas, the best protector that can silence evil drones, causing them to first die in the sky before raining down on the ground. Leonidas is a counter-electronic system with the power and precision to neutralize a single system in tight crowded spaces or disable multiple threats across a wide area. A Pyrus revolutionary approach to directed energy allows for unmatched counter-electronics effects, dramatically reduces the size and weight of the system, and enables greater operator control and safety. Mounted on a gimbal to increase maneuverability, the system can be deployed on a base or alongside a mobile unit, enabling rapid response. Being at the forefront of this crucial war, the well-known defense company General Dynamics has allied with the Pyrus in developing the Stryker X wheeled combat vehicle a derivative of the Stryker military vehicle and the futuristic anti-drone capabilities of the Leonidas system. Stryker X is a wheeled armored fighting vehicle specifically designed to fire laser weapons and launch attack drones and other electronic warfare tools that can be used to neutralize air threats. The threat of small drones, especially cheap consumer models, is difficult to counter in large numbers using traditional kinetic means. Against regular air defenses, cheap drones can be deployed in large numbers to overwhelm the defender or force them to expend more expensive interceptors. Leonidas is designed as a directed energy weapon that fires electromagnetic pulse EMP, beams to disable electronics. The system is able to pick individual targets or cover a large area in wide beam mode to affect any electronic device that passes through. While it was intended to be used against airborne drone threats, it has the ability to knock out ground vehicles and sea vessels. It works against any electronics and has been demonstrated to disable an outboard ship motor. Due to its use of gallium nitride transistors previously used in radars, instead of magnetron vacuum tubes, Leonidas can maintain a durable microwave beam while being smaller and requiring less power. As a directed EMP, the system has advantages over other DEOUs. Lasers can only be used against one target at a time, while an HPM can focus on a large area. And it works against autonomous UAVs with no link back to an operator that radio jamming would be ineffective against. Because it is software-based, it is able to discriminate between enemy and friendly aircraft, allowing it to take down enemy drones while enabling friendly ones to operate in the same vicinity. The original configuration was as a tow trip. In October 2021, Epirus and General Dynamics announced they were teaming to integrate Leonidas onto the Stryker to provide mobile short-range air defense. Epirus unveiled the Leonidas pod in February 2022 capable of being carried by a heavy-lift UAV. General Dynamics, the Army's renowned Stryker vehicle maker, has unveiled its new high-tech Stryker X demonstrator vehicle, designed with a series of advanced new innovations designed to launch attack drones, fire lasers, conduct electronic weapons operations, and achieve paradigm-shifting long-range performance. They term silent watch capability with a hybrid electric movement. Given the wide range of striker vehicle variants, such as reconnaissance vehicles, infantry carriers, and medical evacuation platforms, the ability to employ a silent guard capability would provide a variety of significant tactical advantages. The new Stryker X variant now allows the driver and the commander to sit side by side in a cockpit arrangement, having their own displays in front so they can function better. It has more room in the back for an infantry squad, and it can connect all personnel inside with the vehicle sensors. Additionally, the Stryker X utilizes advanced artificial intelligence, enabled computing and open architecture design to support continued long-term innovation in the future. The open systems approach enables the vehicle to add new weapons, sensors, and command and control equipment. Meanwhile, the Leonidas CUAS features an open system architecture, which enables continuous improvement. This is designed to allow for future upgrades to achieve rapid deployment without the need to add new hardware. The design allows for continuous improvement and optimization of the system's electromagnetic waveform to successfully engage targets evolving at greater distances. Leonidas can be used to identify and neutralize drone swarms simultaneously. It can also hit targets with high precision and accuracy. 
This system delivers high performance in a very small form factor. Equipped with a digital beam-formed antenna, which optimizes the amount of power applied to the target and protects friendly forces from excessive power. Leonidas also adheres to programmable no-fly zones to ensure friendly drones can operate safely when enemy UAS are compromised. The power amplifier provides a deep magazine with a fast rate of fire, with almost instantaneous effect on the target without overheating. The system eliminates the need for reloading. The HPM weapon system operates at low voltage, which reduces the risk of harmful emissions to the system operator. This missile can be used for various missions, including counter UAS, counter radar, and counter jammer. The CUAS can launch a series of waveforms to target frequencies commonly used by drone targets. It uses a line replaceable amplifier module, LRAM, that can be serviced or repaired in the field in less than eight minutes. Epirus uses a gallium nitride, GN, based semiconductor circuit, which can operate at high voltage with low temperature and high power density. The design eliminates the use of vacuum tubes or coolant to support operation. The Smart Power Power Management System utilizes artificial intelligence enabled GAN semiconductors to generate high levels of power density to deliver HPM to flood the target drone's electronic systems. Smart Power uses real time data to improve the power capabilities of CUAS solutions. The third generation Leonidas was demonstrated at the U.S. Department of Defense HPM CUS Technology Demonstration Event in April 2022. The system successfully demonstrated its capabilities against a variety of U.S. targets during the demonstration. The latest version comes with software and hardware enhancements to provide increased operational capabilities. It is claimed to have more than double the power of the previous version. This third-generation system has a rugged design and is mounted on a military-grade trailer. A 360 degrees mechanical gimbal is installed on the system to provide increased coverage and expand the azimuth of protection against incoming threats. Launched in February 2022, the Leonidas Pod is a lightweight, compact system that can be mounted on a drone to address the threat posed by drone swarms. It provides multiple mounting options and supports integration with existing air systems. CUAS can be quickly initiated and deployed to threat zones. It has a longer battery life, which allows it to travel to threats and return to base after the mission is complete. It can also operate in standby mode. Leonidas can be deployed together with Leonidas Pod to provide a multi-layer defense solution. When used together, these systems can achieve increased power and range.